Hi Pisces, welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. Let's dive in. I've missed you guys. I apologize for not uploading. I just, I want to be in good energy and yeah, now I'm doing much better. So, and I was just getting settled because as I've told you guys before, I've been shifting and going through a lot of transitions. So here I am kind of settled. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with Pisces and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below. And I, 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 let me wait just a little bit more to open them back up and I'll let you guys know when I do. And as always, just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. Sorry, guys. Okay. Ooh, Pisces. All right. Well, this is an interesting combo. Okay. Um, what in the world? Sorry, I had a call coming through. First card you had that popped out is the Maiden. So here's an interesting concept, okay? So this is about some type of innocence. The Maiden is the first, you guys know I might talk about this. There's some type of like situation that I feel like you're a little bit more innocent or naive in. Sorry, man. They're just making their rounds today. So, this is a type of innocence, okay? So there could be that either you seem really innocent in some type of situation, maybe dealing with another person, because the maiden can be about that you, like, see the best in people and situations, and sometimes you don't always know what you're getting yourself into. It can be a little bit risky on the risky side of things. Not saying that's bad. Risk isn't a bad thing. But I feel like you might have been curious enough. Ooh, what is that? Flipping over? Yeah, the priestess. And there you are right there. So, it, Pisces, I feel like your intuition is going to start... Uh, just being peaked this week to guide you through some type of a situation because like I said you might be a little bit naive or innocent when it comes to a particular person or maybe you're thinking I can handle this I'm doing fine and there's a little bit of like uh, like illusionment when it comes to that energy because you have two powerful type of archetypes coming in this is your intuition speaking into you this is illumination and knowledge and you've got the maiden so that's the innocent part that's the archetype of you because i think here's what's fascinating i think oh and there's more of your energy which is hilarious spirit of cups i believe that normally would be um, maiden of cups. So this is opportunity. This is creativity. I think that you could be getting ready to go into something, but you're still a little bit like learning about some things, a little bit naive when it comes to certain things. And that's going to change. So that's why I'm saying, trust your intuition, trust things that you're picking up on. Okay. Well, those just popped right out. Let's go ahead and jump in from there. Okay. First card that flew right out. Yeah, Pisces. Okay, you've got the Reverie card. This is one of my favorite cards, which means that you have a dream or a wish that's culminating right now. And it's really awesome. And I feel as though there could have been, there's two sides of the coin that I'm seeing with this, which is hilarious that popped out. There's the two sides of the coin, two of pentacles. There's two types of energy with this. And you're, you're, thinking about some choices right now obviously with two of pentacles you could be deciding between like kind of where you want to follow your next path or where you're going to go next or that type of thing 
And so I think that you're very conscious and aware of a side of you that can be naive or that can see the best in people and only see the good in people. And that's why you have to really rely on your high psychic intuitive abilities because going into this, going into your dream or your wish, it will require you to have this heightened sense of awareness of your psychic abilities and whatever things that you do to increase that. Because there could be certain practices or things that you do for yourself that heighten your intuition. And if you're really good and on board with that, I would say that you have nothing to worry about. But that's where I would say to highlight this is whatever practices or things that you have that increase that is your focus right now. Because your dream or your wish, it's coming into you. You're just, I feel you're a bit in your head about the decision, the choice to maybe actually go into it or actually go in that direction. And it's probably because of certain things in the past and how things have lined up. Because I get the sense that some things, you perceive certain things and that could be a part of the retrograde energy is that you might be seeing some things that you did in the past of like making a mistake. And it's not true. It's it was a part of you developing an archetype in yourself, this wisdom and just you relying on your psychic intuitive abilities more and more. So you've got the four of wands popping out. This is good. That means that what I'm seeing here, there's going to be in your mind right here, you've got the two of pentacles, which means you're a bit back and forth, right? You're making a decision about whether you want to go towards something or not, but you've got the knight of swords in your past. So I feel like there could have been some type of a conversation between you and another person and there might have been a bit of conflict between you and someone else as far as like whose truth was truth. And that's the tricky thing about truths is sometimes like people can deliver a truth and it's not always pleasant to hear, right? And especially if you become triggered by it, that's when you can know that there's something about your own shadow that's coming up to the surface. Because Knight of Swords, if you're just observing something and you're just being informed, that's one thing. But if you have any type of negative emotion come up or a judgment about another person, it's a reflection of a judgment that you have about yourself. So I would stay aware of that. So this is a conversation that I was seeing... Um, between you and another person, I think that there could have been a little bit of like defensiveness or, you know, speaking your truth to someone else. And now it triggered a whole different path. So that's the cool thing about this spirit of cups. There's opportunity that's opening up. There's a creative like doorway that's opening up to you. And I feel like this conversation really spurred that to happen. It really encouraged you to actually move in the direction that you might have wanted to go in anyway. And it is bringing in your dream and celebration into you. Okay. King of Pentacles. So this seems like it's in the in the physical, I feel like this, whatever environment, this could be about home with the four of wands, but this is providing an opportunity for you to get really good in a material way, like accomplish your goals, invest in certain things that's helping you to feel really grounded and stable so that you can make some huge big moves again towards your next dreams and whatever is coming in. In your fear position is the nine of swords, the fear and anxiety card. So I feel like there's still some, th some little shadow things that are coming up to the surface about you standing up for yourself. Because look at how similar these cards are, right? So here you are, I think, balancing between this small part of you, this vulnerable part, and then you actually taking the stand and standing up for yourself. But here you are probably feeling a little bit of anxiety to stand up to a particular person or like for some of you, you guys, that could be fears around seeing a particular person or a particular person coming back into your life, for example, and you um, actually being able to stay grounded. But look at the difference between you. Here you are. Here you are, Pisces. You are actually very powerful. I want to say that's you, that King of Pentacles. You're really like um, responsible and organized and you're a really powerful person. But sometimes the way you see yourself is this smaller or more vulnerable than other big things in your environment. Okay. 
Some of you guys also could be dealing with an earth sign, but look at this. We've got the queen of pentacles. So, and those are coming in right next to each other. So I want to say, again, there's this emphasis on you're either dealing with an earth sign or you could be entangling with a particular person that is very grounded in their energy and just um, has a lot of wisdom and truth to the things that they say. Like, I don't know who that person is. It could be someone on social media or someone that you are dealing with in the physical, but it's someone that's going to help you in a lot of really significant ways. And for some of you, it could be in regards to business and finances and, you know, things like that, but it's going to help you to um, really accomplish a lot of things. I would say they're coming in over the next week and you've got the strength card. So you could be dealing with a Leo, but this oh Pisces look at the difference here where I think that there's something again that you're a little bit deciding on if you want to go towards something or do something this dream of yours whatever this creative thing is that you want to do like it could be a big bold courageous move that you're getting ready to do so right now you could just be in the preparation mode with the queen and king of pentacles, which means that you'll probably attracting, be attracting that type of energy, like someone that comes into your experience and just watch because the mirroring, you'll be able to see certain aspects of yourself in these other people just because of the entanglement. And that's how you can kind of gauge where you are energetically and vibrationally to see how you are on track with this goal, this dream that you're working towards this reverie. And your final outcome card is the Queen of Wands. So that's what I was saying. Right now, here you are in preparation mode. Here's the action coming in. And I feel like that's the confidence. Because look at the, the similarities here. Remember what I said about this possibly being a Leo. This is you taking the action. Going towards what you want. Because now you're feeling there's courage. And it's probably based around you getting really organized in certain aspects of your life. And then once you go through that type of releasing certain things from your mind that are causing you stress and anxiety in the first place, once you start getting to the bottom of those things and working to alchemize that within yourself, you're going to feel so bold and so much strength to be able to make this move towards this thing you want. So huge development that's taking place for you, I would say, over this next week and so so we're going to dive into the details of it and see what's going to come out on the other side. If you guys want to join me over in the extended, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Pisces, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.